Hello and welcome to ACBC News. We're on the mountain bringing you good news and our feet are fabulous. I'm Rochelle Harrison. And I'm Jesse Stevenson and we're going to hear from our track report from our eye in the sky, sky in the cloud. Sky? Thank you, Jesse. I'm here looking northbound on County Route 43, just south of State Route 196. And traffic appears to be moving at a pretty steady pace. Typical of a Sunday morning, there is almost no traffic in the road to speak of whatsoever. I'm joined today by one Alex Story, to whom traffic is a major concern. Hello, Alex. Hello, Sky. I'm a big fan. Thank you, Alex. May I ask you, what concerns do you have when the big day comes? Could you tell our viewers at home what you do for the Adamsville Fair? Well, I'm in charge of the hayride. I've been doing it for several years, and we've got a fixed route that goes down Route 43, does a turn around, and comes back here to the church. We usually don't encounter any traffic, and when we do, they really don't mind us being there. Thank you, Alex. Tell me, are you excited for the big day? Oh, you can bet I am. I've, like I said, I've been doing it for many years, and I just ma enjoy making people happy and bringing glory to God. Amen. As a reminder for our viewers at home, the Adamsville Fair is looking for more volunteers, just like Alex here, to help with other traffic concerns, such as parking attendants. Back to you, Jesse. Thank you, Sky. The ongoing candy crisis is still plaguing the local communities. Officials are urging citizens to donate candy in the nearest donation bin as soon as possible. You can get involved. And if you have expertise in traffic like our reporter Sky McLeod, you can also help the fair as a parking attendant, one of the most crucial jobs at the fair. That's all the time we have for today. Be blessed.